Hi, this is Eric with WM Noping Company. Today I'm going to show you hooking up a Seedstar XB planter to the John Deere 4600 Command Center display. The first thing we're going to do when we hook it up is create a home page so that we can actually operate and use the Seedstar XB planter. To do so, we're going to start by going to Menu in the bottom right. We're going to go to Applications and Layout Manager. Here we have the active set of run pages shortcut bars which we'll get to in a little bit and all run pages. To create one we're going to go to all run pages. Here's a list of all run pages that have ever been made. We'll go to add new. We're going to call this one planner. Go to add module in the bottom left. Applications and then isobus VT. Here we'll select the top option, and I'm going to move that over to the right hand side. My preference when running an 8R with a Seedstar XP or Seedstar 2 planner is to add the vacuum assignable SCVs for left and right vacuum over here on the left hand side. To do so, we'll go to Add Module, Machine Settings, we'll come down to SCV. There's different ways you can do it, but I prefer doing it this way. So I do this assignable SCV for flow rate, hit add, and then do and add another one just the same. Machine settings, SCV, and hit add. When we hit save, we can now go to our active set and click on add run page, and we can add planner into the mix. Hit save again, exit out, and let's get to that. So over here on the left hand side, if we want to put our left SCV, that'd be SCV number three, we'll assign that. And then we'll put our right SCV, our right vacuum motor, SCV four. So now we can sit here and we can look at our vacuum on the screen and while we're running the planner, we can adjust the flow rate so that we can get that exact population while we're running the planner. One more thing we have to do if we're going to be running sex control on a John Deere 4600 command center is we need to add sex control down here on the bottom on our default shortcut bar. To do so, we'll go to Menu, Applications, Layout Manager, Shortcut Bars. Click on Default Shortcut Bar. And today I'm going to get rid of Quickline because I don't think it's very popular when we're using a planner. We'll remove. I'm going to go ahead and move Guidance over so I can put these together. And we'll hit on Add here. We'll go to Applications. Come down until we find Section Control. When we find it here, we'll hit Add. And then we'll hit Save. So now we can have Section Control. It'll be the check mark on. And the check mark off, just as if we're using on a 2630. That concludes our video today. Please stop by a WM Noby store today for more help.